Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. I've been an amateur radio operator for over 57 years, and I've also taught electronic instrumentation and automation at Virginia Tech for 31 years. I've been retired for 13 years, and some things have changed since I retired, and that's the internet has gotten much more sophisticated. Some things haven't changed, and that's the way we make measurements. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about a very basic instrument, the multimeter. This is an electronic multimeter, and we'll look very closely at it. But multimeter, what does that mean? Well, it means it can measure multiple things, multiple electronic or electrical phenomena, like voltage, AC voltage, DC voltage, ohms, current or amperes, and sometimes other phenomena, electronic phenomena. So let's take a look at close up at this meter and see how you would use it. It's a very handy tool. They're very inexpensive. Something almost every homeowner should have, if nothing more, to see if you have voltage at an outlet in your house. But it has many more functions than that. So let's take a look and see basically how you can use a digital multimeter. Let's look at some of the functions. Uh, first of all, the basic instrument here with the function switch, the test leads over here. We just have a few things that we're going to measure, a couple of battery voltages and a couple of resistors. We're going to make those measurements. We're also going to measure uh, the voltage AC out of a regular outlet. And then in future lessons, we'll show you how to use uh, more sophisticated measurements. So I said, this is a multiple meter. So what are the things it measures? It measures voltage AC, amperes, a very high amperage, 10 amperes. 200 milliamperes, and here's another 10 ampere position. Here's two uh, positions for measuring battery voltage, one and a half volt battery, nine volt battery. Here's a position for measuring continuity. That means do we have an electrical connection or not? We can measure that if a wire is complete or if it's broken. Here we can measure resistance, the resistance of a circuit or of a resistor. And over here, voltage DC. Let's look a little bit closer at this. The DC voltage ranges from 2 volts full scale to 600 volts. Well, this is pretty dangerous voltage when you get up to 200 to 600 volts. In fact, you really have to be careful with anything over about 20 volts. But uh, 600 volts, you really need to be uh, aware of what you're doing. And the same thing over here with voltage AC, 600 volts down to 2 volts. Um, there's nothing uh, inherently dangerous about measuring ohms because the meter itself puts a little bit of current, if you're measuring it correctly, a little bit of current through the resistor and, and shows you the resistance, so the voltage is very low here. We don't do in-circuit uh, ohmmeter tests. You have to hook the test leads up here, the test leads over here, black and red. The black one goes in common, and we have two other places we can plug into. If we're using the red scale, we plug into this and it's red, it says volt, ohms, amperes or milliamperes. This one is used only for um, 10 amperes, these two positions right here. It's the only time we would use this uh, and we put the common lead over here. Okay, let's plug the leads in. The black lead goes into the common for all measurements. And if we're going to make the measurements volts, ohms, or milliamps over here, we plug the red lead in here. This is what we call the active lead. Let's measure these two uh, batteries here. Let's set our battery on our measurement on 10, uh, 9 volts. We've got a 9 volt transistor radio battery here. So let's, uh, let's measure this. So we see our meter reading 8.78 volts. Well, that seems a little bit low, but that's what it reads. We would expect, uh, well, that's close to 9 volts. So we don't know if the battery is, how, how fresh the battery is. It's one we just pulled out of stock and reads 8.78 volts. This is a common small pen cell. Let's just measure this. Well, it's reading 1.57. And again, these are nominal 1.5 volt. I'll make a little better connection here. These are nominal 1.5 volt batteries, so that's what we would expect about 1.5 volts out there. Well, let's look at making a couple of resistor measurements. Well, we've got a couple of resistors down here. We're going to make the measurements on. We've had a video earlier 
that uh, described how to read the resistor value from this color code, and I'll refer you to that uh, tutorial. But this is brown, black, orange, which is 10,000 ohms. This one is a blue, green, red, which is 6,800 ohms. Remember, these are only good to within plus or minus 10 percent, so they can vary quite a bit, and the meter accuracy is about 1 percent. Notice the meter right now is reading blanks over here. That means infinite resistance. If I touch the probes together, that should be zero resistance, essentially, and we see it goes down constantly to zero. So let's measure these resistors. This is the one that says 10,000 ohms. And it says 10,100 ohms. Remember, this is, uh, could be within 10% of that value, and that certainly is within 10%. And the meter can add another approximately 1% error. Let's measure this one, which is supposed to be 6,800 ohms. Well, it's 6,920 bouncing back and forth. And if you read the specifications on the meter, you'll see it tells you that last digit is only good to plus and minus two digits, or sometimes plus and minus five digits. So if I can make a good connection here, there we have a good connection. 6.91, which is 6,910 ohms. Now that's accurate to the resistor value is only plus or minus 10%. We're going to make a measurement here just to check our outlet to see what's happening. So I want to put our meter on 200 volts AC, which I've done right here, our multimeter on 200 volts AC full. So let's plug this in, and you need to be a little careful doing this. Okay, well look what it's reading, 122.1 volts. We would expect this to be around 115 volts, plus or minus. So we have an active outlet there.